Grand Rising, beautiful soul family. I'm Coach Susie, and welcome to the Beyond Abuse podcast, a show about the power and benefits of using self-love and hope to overcome self-doubt, depression, anxiety, and panic attacks resulting from the trauma and abuse of our past. You know, what I'm learning on this journey is that We weren't meant to be sad, depressed. Like, yes, those are, those are, you know, byproducts of the pain that we experience as children, right? Or even in our adulthood, whenever it occurred for you. But that's not who we are. At the core, we are love. Our last podcast was about, you know, day 18 was about your, you are the source of love. You don't need to seek it. You just need to be it. You just need to embody it. You need to step fully into it and realize that you're it. You know, like it doesn't exist outside of you. And then someone will come into your life and appreciate you, you know, and that's what it's all about. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on day 19 of the 21 day meditation experience with Deepak Chopra and Alicia Keys, activating the divine feminine, feminine, the path to wholeness. Day 19 is tap into your inner power. Enjoy. Welcome to day 19 of our magnificent, incomparable meditation journey. I hope you are loving it and looking forward to it. The theme for today is tap into your own power. Mm, That's a good one because sometimes we forget how powerful we are. I know I do. And I have to remember, no, you have what you need. Your power is strong. You have it inside of you. Tap into your own power. To me, that's a real eye-opener because when you look around, people mostly feel powerless. We feel that forces outside of us are in control. We feel lonely and alone. So where can we find our power? When we embody the qualities of the divine feminine, we are empowered to fully engage in our lives. In Deepak's vision, the divine feminine is a source of infinite giving. It gives not just one moment of love, but all moments of love. Not just one inspiration, but all inspiration. Giving is a kind of silent power that we overlook, but it is always accessible if you are in a position to participate. And guess what? You're in a position to participate because it's all in you. And there is an endless well. There is an endless, endless well from which to draw. I think about this a lot as I'm creating music. I think about this a lot as I'm creating anything that's coming from a dream state that I want to manifest. Sometimes I get afraid. Do I really have what it takes to create this thing? And then I remember this endless well and this power, our own power to tap into. Deepak will expand on this beautiful theme. I'm ready for it. Let's get started. One distressing result of being so unbalanced toward the masculine and away from the feminine is how we define power. When masculine energy rules us, power becomes domination resorting to force to dominate people and events. If force is challenged too far, we see its expression as an imbalance in our relationships with others, in war, in civil unrest, and in oppression. Feminine power, on the other hand, is often implied as being weak or non-existent. Taking no side in any conflict, The feminine is giving, receptive, and gentle in its power to transform. There can be no love without a source of love. No compassion, peace, creativity, or inspiration either. 
All these things are inconceivable without the divine feminine, just as is giving, receptive and gentle in its power to transform. Because power has been defined so that force, domination and violation are seen as the marks of power, it may seem that love, peace and non-violence have lost out, being defeated long ago. But as with other aspects of the Divine Feminine, going into hiding isn't the same as becoming extinct. The reawakening of feminine power is personal and individual. Begin by opting out of the distorted and unbalanced game that power has turned into. Your whole process is about reawakening. No effort or struggle is involved. Feminine power is the power of fulfillment, which means fulfilling your goals, dreams, aspirations, and talents. The power to be the best you can be lies in reaching the source of pure awareness inside you and embodying feminine power to find our flow in life. At the source, you will find the truth behind the teaching. Knock and the door will be opened. Ask and you will receive. As we prepare to meditate together, let's take a moment to consider our centering thought. The flow of life gives me my power. The flow of life gives me my power. The flow of life gives me my power. So many people don't understand the importance of simply flowing with life. A lot of people fight with life. I did that. Fight, you know, you're fight, and it, it's really not even a fight with life. It's a fight with yourself. You're fighting with yourself because you're so used to controlling things. And when things aren't going your way or, um, you know, things aren't how you like them, you get frustrated, you get angry because you are in this need of control. And the people who need to control you are the people who have the least control in their life. You don't ever need to control anybody. You're, you are responsible for controlling yourself, your reactions, your actions toward other people, you know? Um, and that's really what it's all about. And it flows into you, you know, it flows life is just flowing. And when you learn to just get in that divine flow, you know, just realizing that, you know what, hell, life happens, shit happens. <laughs> life is not perfect. It's not perfect on your own. And it's not perfect with somebody else either. But find you somebody that's willing to work with you, not against you. Okay. Because that's the key. Because a lot of people want to work you know it's like a power struggle it's a power struggle between the divine feminine and the divine masculine but when you when you tap into that balance you 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 don't need to fight with anybody outside of you you know what i'm saying like you don't need to fight with nobody outside of you you go i mean for me for instance when i find myself in a war with other people i really got to look at myself you know, got to take a look at myself and see what I need to, where I need to grow in that area, you know, um, because the war is really not outside of you. It's the war is going on inside of you, but it's easier to, uh, to blame outside circumstances, right. Than to, than to blame ourselves. <laughs> we don't want to take. We don't want to take accountability, but, you know, that's empowering when you can actually say, you know what, what is this trying to teach me? What is this person trying to teach me? You know, um, or what is this, what is this, this interaction trying to teach me? Whatever it may be going, you know, what is this trying to teach me? And be what, be open and willing to learn because that's how you grow. That's how you continue to vibrate higher 
in that energy of love and you're able to, you know, to love other people. You're able to, to share that in, in every capacity, you know, in every capacity. So, um, you got to recognize that everything that you need is on the inside of you. Nobody has power over you. Nobody has the power to make you angry. Um, you know, you, you react to that. Nobody has that power over you. You're angry because they're not doing things your way, the way that you want them to do it. That's why you get angry because they're not doing what you want them to do. You're trying to control the situation. So, um, and, and just being, you know, honest with yourself, that's, that's the key to healing is just really being honest with yourself and not blaming anybody else for your, your behaviors, right? And realizing nobody has power over you. Step into your own divine power and realize nobody has power over you and learn to detach from situations if you need to, you know? And if the other person doesn't understand, then so be it, you know? Sometimes you got to disconnect from folk, <laughs> And it's okay. So let's go ahead and get a card going here. We're going to do an action card and then we will do an angel card. See what we get. Divine God, universe, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guide, uh, spirit animals, archangels. Uh, angels of light, angels of wisdom. Thank you. Thankful and grateful for the messages, the message that comes forth. Um, let them be clear and concise, clear, give us clarity and confirmation. And as always, whenever I draw, draw these cards, whatever resonates, please take it. Whatever doesn't, leave it behind. Thank you, Archangel Gabriel, for assisting me on this journey of communication, assisting me with my gift. Thank you for being here to help me communicate effectively and in a healing nature, because that's what I want to do. Let my words, if, if I can't give words of healing, then let me not speak. I would rather not speak if I'm not bringing healing. I want my words to bring healing, my life to bring healing, my dance to bring healing. Because that's what people need. So um, let it be from, from a place of love. Thankful and grateful to be a conduit, a vessel, a channel. I'm thankful and grateful to channel these messages. So be it. So it is. Amen. All right. Let's see. What is our action card for today? That one's popping out. Speak. Choose an intention. Speak it out loud today. Give voice to your dreams. Speak, 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 speak. Clear that throat chakra and speak your truth. Stop hiding your truth. Step into your inner power. Step into it. It's yours. It's your divine right. It's in you. <laughs> it's your divine right to do it. <clears throat> your divine right to do it. Let's go ahead and get an angel message. Oh, that one popped out. There's nothing to worry about. 
you are safe and this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you yes so speak speak it out loud today there's nothing to worry about speak your truth there is absolutely nothing to fear speak your truth there's nothing to fear so um you there's nothing to fear you got the inner power <laughs> speak your truth <clears throat> there's nothing to worry about you are safe what is they you are safe you are safe and it's under perfect control speak your truth Stop hiding your truth and just speak it. The angels send this card to you because you've been needlessly worrying. Worry is a form of prayer that draws to you that which you do not desire. Release your worries to your angels as there truly is nothing to worry about. In fact, your worries could create a self-fulfilling prophecy. Everything's much better than you imagine. Ask the angels to release you from worry. A happy outcome is inevitable. Avoid worrying lest the negative emotions pull you and the situation down. The angels are with you and everything's okay. Yeah, so like the, when they was talking about inner power, like you have that inner power. So nobody can take that power away from you, right? So nobody can really, nobody really has the power to pull you out of your high vibrational energy unless you allow them to. And you have to be... You have to be cognizant and aware of what you give your energy to because it's, if you give your energy to something and it's pulling from you, then that's not, that's not good energy. You know, that's not good energy for you. So um, don't let anybody pull you from your place of power. Don't let anybody's actions pull you from your inner peace. You know, stand tall. You are safe. You are protected. You know, and the more that you focus on the negative aspect, the negative thoughts, you know, like when the negative thoughts come up, send, send love and light, send healing energy to those negative thoughts. You know, you have the power. The power is alive on the inside of you. You are in control. But you got to love yourself and know enough to know that that you are in control nobody has control over you and you don't have to allow anybody to have control over you so um that's all i got today so let me know what y'all think um <clears throat> like comment share subscribe you know hit the bell for notifications um you know, if you enjoyed the topic today, I invite you to subscribe to the to my monthly self-care newsletter where I provide tips, tools, and resources on loving yourself deeper every day. Once subscribed, you will receive my free ebook from Victim to Victor, How to Live an Empowered Life Beyond Abuse. The ebook was created to move you from victim to victor and help you live an empowered life beyond the abuse and depression of your past. It was created to push you and assist you with redirecting yourself toward a more peaceful, happier existence. All subscribers receive 25% off the five poetry book bundle, 15% off all products and free access to the private Facebook ebook mental health support community from victim to victor, how to live an empowered life beyond depression and abuse. There's daily encouragement, weekly challenges. Sometimes I do a daily challenge. Um, there's weekly live Zoom meetings with Q uh, Q&A every Friday at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can subscribe to the newsletter today by visiting suzysettles.com or by clicking on the link in the description box below or copying and pasting the link in the description box below. And a special thank you and shout outs of love to all my YouTube subscribers, podcast subscribers, and podcast listener supporters. I thank you for your love, kindness, and generosity. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, when you make a monthly love offering in support of this podcast, it helps to sustain future episodes and it also assists the mission of A Mother's Touch, Inc., which is to provide co-parents and families with love, nurturing, guidance, and the resources they need to become a healthier, happier, more holistic version of themselves. 
We also assist men and women financially who are leaving domestic violence relationships and struggling financially. You know, I just really want to be the person that I needed when I was, you know, struggling in every area of my life. Um, when I left my 20 year unhealthy and abusive relationship, I just want to be that person. Um, and, and, um, I'm finally at that space in my life where I can be. So, um, if this is your first time listening to the podcast on Anchor, Apple Breaker, Google Podcast, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, Spotify, or YouTube, thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, you know, you could have, you could have come across somebody else's podcast. You could have come across somebody else's YouTube channel, but you chose to stop here. And I thank you for that. And I invite you to go and listen to other episodes and see if you like it. If you like it, I invite you to subscribe to the podcast and to the YouTube channel. And if you get anything out of it, if it's helping you along on your journey, I invite you to become a listener supporter. Um, as I said earlier, you know, it, it assists, it helps us to stay on and it also assists the mission of a mother's touch Inc. So, you know, you are supporting a mission and it is greatly accepted and appreciated. Um, if you or someone, you know, is in need of financial assistance, please visit www.amotherstouchinc.org and fill out the form for financial assistance. You can also make a love offering donation there, or you can do that via cash app, which is dollar sign, a mother's touch Inc or Venmo, which is the at symbol, a mother's touch Inc. And that's all I got for y'all today. I love y'all. I thank y'all for being here and joining me today. I thank y'all for joining me on my journey every single day that y'all listen to this podcast, because this is a journey for me. And I'm just here helping y'all along on y'all journey. That's all. I'm just a little, a little old guy. That's all. <laughs> just a little old guy. Um, and, uh, but you know, before I let y'all go, I cannot send y'all out without sending a prayer of love out into the universe. So let's go ahead and do that. Dear universe, I love you. I thank you. Man, you, you are my way maker. My everything. You are my light in the dark place I love you and my love grows deeper and stronger for you every single day it really and truly does and I'm thankful for that I really and truly am it is a privilege and an honor to know you intimately not based on what I was taught, but just having a connection with you myself. You are truly the love of my life. You are my everything. You are my symphony, my harmony, my melody. You are the song that I sing, the air that I breathe. You are in my dance. I love dancing for you. I love dancing to music that talks about you, that glorifies your name. That's all I want to do. Because it was your love, your love that kept me going all these years. It was my love for you that kept me, that kept, kept me safe, kept me protected. It was your love that provided for me. And I'm thankful for that. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for the way that you love me. It's how you see me. <laughs> I'm thankful that you traded my ashes for beauty. I love you so much. And uh, I'm thankful for every listener, listener supporter podcast subscriber, YouTube subscriber, follower on TikTok, follower on Instagram, 
friend on Facebook. Follow her on my Facebook page. Follow her on Twitter. And everybody who is listening today, I ask that you would cover me in your love. Nothing else. That love feels like it's it's like no other. No other will be able to satisfy. But the right one will come close. Because they'll know how to love you. They'll have that deep love for you too. I love you so much, God. I will never forget. You are my husband. That's why I wear this ring. (laughs) Because I'm married to my divine masculine. Which is God. (laughs) I love you. You are my best friend, my greatest confidant, my lover, my man. It's a privilege and an honor to glorify you, to reflect back to you. I love you with everything that I am, with every fiber of my being. It is a privilege and an honor to serve in this capacity. Protect everyone that stopped by today to listen. Hold them, nurture them. Guide them. Teach them. It's a privilege and an honor to see another day. It is. And with that being said, let's rock this day out. Let's get her done. And so be it. And so it is. Amen. Amen. And amen. I thank y'all for joining me today. I want you to go out, have an awesome, amazing, and beautiful day today. From my heart to yours, as always, namaste. If you experienced rejection, abandonment, trauma, or abuse as a child, you may find it difficult to create a healthy, happy, and holistic life. You are not alone. I am Coach Susie, and I am a survivor of addiction and narcissistic domestic violence abuse. I was raised by a mother who experienced narcissistic personality disorder, and I experienced every type of abuse. I was rejected, abandoned, and traumatized before the age of 10. As I grew older, I attracted these same type of relationships into my life because this was my life. It was all I knew, and it was what I was accustomed to until I introduced myself to something different. In 2015, I left a 20 year unhealthy and abusive relationship with a man who struggles with narcissistic personality disorder. And I began a journey into loving myself unconditionally. It took me five years to accomplish living a happy, healthy, and holistic life, and that was primarily due to the lack of financial and educational resources for people like me who were severely traumatized as children and grew up in impoverished neighborhoods. The Loving Yourself Unconditionally movement was created from the mind of a traumatized child who struggled for years with self-doubt and low self-esteem. But I learned to love herself unconditionally beyond past abuse and thrive successfully in life with PTSD, bipolar disorder, and ADHD. I struggled to love myself unconditionally due to the mental and emotional abuse I received as a child. The voices of doubt, fear, and not good enough would constantly haunt me until I began to change my mind. The Loving Yourself Unconditionally movement is a community of people who desire to learn practical and effective ways to love themselves unconditionally beyond abuse. The Loving Yourself Unconditionally movement is not about chasing perfection and trying to be perfect. It's about learning to love yourself unconditionally in every area of your life, no matter what that looks like. It's about becoming the healthiest, happiest, 
and truest version of yourself, no matter what that looks like. If you are ready to learn how to love yourself unconditionally beyond abuse, pre-register today at suzysuttles.com. Everyone has something to teach us. My question to you is, are you ready to learn?